Hi, today we are going to learn about measurement of central tendency. Now, central ten whenever we are given a set of data, one way to look at the data is by looking at the central tendency. So, there are three ways to actually measure central tendency. The most common is the mean. So, suppose you have a set of values 1, 2, 3, 4 and you want to understand uh, the, what is the center of this particular value so you take an average of it so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 4 is 2.5 so this becomes the mean of the particular set of values the second would be the median median is nothing but it's the middle value of value in position so all the data you have given you arrange it in ascending or descending and whichever is the middle value the center number you pick it up like say in this case if there is an odd number of values, like in this case 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, this 3 is the central value. Central, it's the middle position because there are two uh, values before it and two values after it. So this becomes the median. If there is an odd num even number of values, there will be two figures which will be in middle. So you just take an average to calculate the median of the, of the values. Mode is the most common value. The third way to measure the uh, central tendency is by mode so in first example there is this 3 is repeated twice which is the maximum has the maximum frequency so this 3 becomes the mode in the second value there are two common uh, common repeat most common repeated that's 3 and 5 so in this case we will take an average of 3 and 5 so 3 plus 5 is 8 by 2 is 4 so the mode of this particular set of values will be 4 so to end i mean there are three ways you can use it mean median mode now a lot of questions are these days asked about you know what is the central tendency in various kind of distribution mode, which means is what is the mean median mode in a normal distribution curve in a left sided or right sided distribution curve so let's take first case is a normal distribution curve i mean the ideal or the normal gaussian distribution curve in this case i mean all mean median mode is uh, equal so mean is equal to mode is equal to uh, median right now let's take an example of uh, so can you identify this curve because most people will have difficulty they will confuse it now you have to understand that this is a left sided curve now if you see your hand is towards right i mean this is q is towards left so that's why you call it a left sided curve or a negative curve so you always see where the tail goes so tail is going towards the left side so this is a left sided curve or a negative curve in such kind of cases you know because this is the most uh, repeated frequency so this will be mode median is the center part i mean all the values the center part is this so this is median and mean will be here so if we see in such cases mean will be lowest median will be in middle and mode will be the highest right so just remember you have to look at the tail so tail goes towards the left or tail goes towards the negative side you know this is the negative side of the axis this is the positive side so this is a left or negative distribution and then you can know if this is mean is the least in such kind of cases then median and then mode similarly for positive distribution so you know the tail is going towards the positive side or the right side so this is a right side distribution curve and hence the mean is the highest in such cases and mode is the lowest right because obviously uh, mode is the of highest frequency but it is towards the uh, negative side so it will be lowest so this is frequently asked these days now we are going to talk about certain extra points in uh, for mcqs one is bimodal series bimodal series is one where you know you have got two peaks and uh, basically two modes in a particular set of data in such kind of cases always remember this formula mode is equal to two times the median minus two uh, three times the median minus two times the mean now this is a formula direct question from formula will come where you will be given either uh, two of the three values and you will be asked to calculate the third value now next part is i mean consider a distribution where there are some extreme outliers like say uh, there is a set of data where the you know the money with people is two rupees four rupees five rupees 7 rupees and the last person has 100 rupees so where the distribution of data some values are extreme suppose when you are doing a research i mean you are collecting research data and then you find that okay some values go extreme so what uh, 
is the most affected central tendency, what is the least affected central tendency and what is the most preferable measure of central tendency in such cases. Now the most affected will be obviously uh, the mean because mean takes every value in consideration because mean is the average of all the values, right? So since it's average of all the values, so even if one value is very high or very low, it will affect mean the maximum, which is the least affected value, least affected value because uh, if you see mode, mode is the value which has the highest frequency. Now, extreme outliers do not, you know, affect the frequency of the most repeated value. So, mode will be the least affected value and most preferable measure of central tendency will be median in such cases. So, the answer is most affected value is mean, as I explained, least affected value is mode and the most preferable value is median because it is the, you know, it is not affected. Median is least affected you know, uh, and gives the best result when it comes to uh, distribution with outliers. Now, this is all for today. Hope you join us on WhatsApp. Send your name and college name to me via WhatsApp and you will keep receiving all similar updates. Thank you.